Hello, this is Ron Paul with your weekly update for Monday, October 18th. Abortion has returned to the headlines thanks to Texas's heartbeat law. As the name suggests, this law outlaws abortions performed after doctors can detect the fetal heartbeat. This is one of the several recently passed state laws restricting abortion. The U.S. Supreme Court will soon consider a challenge to a Mississippi law banning abortions after 15 weeks. A court majority may use this case as a vehicle to limit or even overturn Roe v. Wade. In 1973, a decision in which the court declared a federal abortion right. All who support limited a constitutional government should support overturning Roe. The Constitution does not give any branch of the federal government authority to decide what the penalty should be for performing an abortion. Therefore, federal courts, including the Supreme Court, have no jurisdiction over abortion. Overturning Roe v. Wade would not create a nationwide abortion ban. Instead, it would return to the individual state's responsibility for deciding what, if any, restrictions should be placed on abortion. If supporters of abortion followed the science, they would have to admit that abortion is the taking of a human life. A fetus with a heartbeat is developing, but it is also still a human with a right to life. The Biden Justice Department is supporting efforts to overturn the Texas heartbeat law in federal court. President Biden is also supporting the repeal of the Hyde Amendment, which forbids the use of federal funds for abortions. If Biden and Congress are going to use tax dollars to support abortions, then they should allow anti-abortion taxpayers to withhold the percentage of their taxes that would be used to support abortion. The same should go for those with moral objections to America's militaristic foreign policy that forces U.S. taxpayers to subsidize the killing of innocent men, women, and even children. The Hyde Amendment does not completely protect human life from subsidizing abortion. The amendment does not forbid organizations that promote or perform abortion from receiving federal money. It just forbids them from using for abortion the funds received from the federal government. Since money is fungible, a federal dollar going to a group that performs abortion can spend their money on non-abortion related activities, frees up another dollar that can be used for abortions. To ensure pro-life Americans are not forced to subsidize abortion, either directly or indirectly, it could be forbidden for organizations that promote or perform abortions to receive any federal funds. Denying federal funds to international organizations that promote or perform abortion might help reduce the resentment of the U.S. and other countries. It is no coincidence that Roe v. Wade came at a time when respect for human rights of life, liberty, and property was on the decline. Roe contributed to the decline in the respect for rights and the rise in public and private immorality. These changes have led to violent crimes, people believing they have a moral claim that must be enforced by the government to the property of their neighbors and acceptance of torture and preemptive war. The way to reverse these developments is to restore respect for the inalienable right to life, liberty and property, and all human beings, both born and unborn. The cause of life is inseparable from the cause of liberty.